Well, I had a comment on my video yesterday, and uh, the person uh, suggested I hang the uh, pipe bag over his arm, and I just tried it, and it doesn't work. Uh, it uh, actually clunks out this whole area here, so I'm going to cancel that idea. But it, it was a good suggestion, but it, it doesn't work. Time to play with some play. I've had a look at the uh, veins. I'm happy with how they turned out. And uh, so now I'm going to work on uh, the back of his arm. Uh, and behind his arm here and uh, the tail of the uh, buffalo hide is all as well as get this uh, blanket uh, as close to done as I can. I'm trying to decide whether to uh, put some beadwork on that blanket or not, but I'll decide that later. So the first thing I got to do is uh, finish out this bag now I'm gonna have beadwork going down one side of the uh, bag and uh, I'll put some beadwork here I'm not gonna have enough room for the uh, fringe at the bottom because it'll pretty much uh, well I have no the bases in the way so I can't do that but I'll just work that all out. I also got to fill in behind here because I can't have that deep recess. And uh, I'll work on that as well. I'll try to keep my hand out of the way. As much as I can. Alright, this is the beadwork, and I inscribed a uh, thin piece of clay with the uh, beadwork. It's just a matter of blending it in with the uh, previous beadwork. All right, I put the uh, final beadwork on the bottom. I'll put a pattern in this uh, beadwork tomorrow. I want to go upstairs and go through my computer and uh, do some research and get uh, a good pattern but uh, for now this is the uh, way it's going to be and uh, i'll pick this up on that part tomorrow i want to make a few wrinkles where the uh, pipe bag is cinched up here tight I'll work a little bit on his, the back part of his arm and uh, get the muscles formed up in that, on that.
I gotta fill in this area here. If you're curious how much of this clay I've used on this figure and the uh, figure of the warrior with the uh, dream of eagles, uh, it's just about four and a half pounds. And that's uh, about one tub of that uh, monster clay from Amazon. I've ordered another tub and got it here now and uh, I'm still using some of the clay from the original tub of clay. So that just gives you an idea what you can do with it. Of course I was using Aluminum foil as a filler where I needed to. I'm just putting some texture into the uh, blanket. Somebody asked me the other day if I sell these. And I do. I sell them as a limited edition bronze. And uh, if anybody's interested, just uh, he'll make a comment and I'll uh, contact you. Let's work on this tail. Now, the tail would be flattened out or skinned out from the uh, buffalo hide or the buffalo tail, tail bones. Can't talk today. And there's a texture to it. It's not as long a hair as, uh, or as curly a hair as uh, up here, but it is hairy. Now I just got to figure out how I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm going to kind of blend this in to this uh, tail.
Now the end of the tail is quite bushy, so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that now. In fact, they make fly swatters out of them to keep flies off themselves. Okay. All right, basically this figure is done. I'm going to do some feathers uh, tomorrow and uh, put the beadwork on this uh, pouch tomorrow. But... Uh, Basically, this is a warrior, this old warrior is finished. I, I really like it. I, I like the feeling of it. And uh, I'm glad I figured out this pipe situation. Because I like it a lot better than the ideas ha I had originally. Alright, everybody. I'll... Uh, See you guys tomorrow, and uh, call it a day. Good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.